Welcome to Module 3 of the Divisioning eLearning series. In this module, we will learn about how the sports of bocce, bowling, and golf are divisioned. Bocce, 5, and 10-pin bowling, and golf have been grouped together for this module because they have a number of similarities. As individual sports, divisioning for bocce, bowling, and golf is based on gender and then ability, and does not use age as a divisioning factor. Divisions are set using qualifying scores which are submitted ahead of time or determined during the divisioning round at the competition. For bocce, qualifying scores will come from the results of a skills assessment that can be done ahead of time of the competition or during the scheduled divisioning time of the competition. For 5 and 10 pin bowling, the qualifying score is the seasonal average over a set minimum number of games. For golf, the seasonal average of six games can be the qualifying score, or the competition schedule will include a preliminary round. We'll explore a bit about how these qualifying scores are determined in the following slides. Major competitions will offer a sport technical package that provides coaches and athletes with the full details for that competition. Here, we'll provide a guideline as to what will be expected for qualifying scores in bocce. The skills assessment for bocce requires that the athlete play a set of three modified games, one where the polino is at the 30-foot line, one where the polino is at the 40-foot line, and another where the polino is placed at the 50-foot line. This may be done ahead of the competition or during scheduled divisioning rounds at the competition. The athlete will play eight balls towards the polino at each distance, and the three closest balls will be measured with their distance recorded in centimeters. The average of the nine distances, three closest for each modified game, will determine the athlete's score for divisioning. If this is a team competition, a combined average for two or four players may be used. Season-long averages are to be submitted as qualifying scores in 5 and 10 pin bowling. A minimum of 25 games must be played for 5 pin bowling, and a minimum of 21 games is required for 10 pin bowling. For 5 pin athletes heading to national games, the higher of the averages submitted for provincial games and the current season's average will be used for divisioning. For 10 pin bowlers competing at national games, if their current season's average is more than 10 pins higher or lower than the average submitted for provincial games, the current season's average will be used. Of course, coaches will know the importance of keeping records of their athlete scores, usually in the form of league record sheets or the equivalent. These are required to be submitted for those athletes who proceed to higher level games. Competitive golfers currently compete in level 4 play, which is a 9-hole round. Players shall register by submitting a verified handicap or the most recent and verified 6 scores over 9 holes. Coaches and athletes are reminded of the importance of keeping their golfing statistics over the season. These scores will be used to establish divisions unless a preliminary round can be scheduled. If a preliminary round is part of the competition, the score from that round will be used to division the final round. As with all Special Olympic sports, athletes compete against other athletes with a similar ability level. Competing in divisions based on ability allows athletes fair, meaningful, and equitable competition. The next few slides will discuss ability level divisioning for bocce, 5 and 10 pin bowling, and golf. In bocce, athletes will be divisioned within their gender category based on their skills assessment scores starting at the highest ability level. Divisions will be made up of a minimum of three athletes and a maximum of eight. Athletes with the same average will be included in the same division. A 25% performance guide will be used to determine divisions, keeping in mind that the three athlete minimum division size will also be implemented. For 5 and 10 pin bowling, athletes will be divisioned within their gender category based on their seasonal average starting at the highest ability level. Divisions will be made up of a minimum of 3 athletes and a maximum of 8. Athletes with the same average will be included in the same division. A 25% performance guide will be used to determine divisions, keeping in mind that the 3 athlete minimum division size will also be implemented. A five-pin bowling competition may include team play. 
which, in similar fashion to individual competition, is also divisioned by ability. Teams are co-ed, so gender is not a factor in divisioning. Age remains not a factor as well. Teams are placed into divisions based on the team's total average starting at the highest ability. Divisions will be made up of a minimum of three teams and a maximum of eight teams. Ten pin competitions may also offer team play, which could be for teams of four or doubles. Team play for ten pin does division by gender. Any team with at least one male bowler will be included among the male divisions. Age is not a factor for divisioning team play. Teams and doubles pairings are placed into divisions based on the team's total average starting at the highest ability. Divisions will be made up to a minimum of three teams or pairings and a maximum of eight teams or pairings. Teams with the same combined average will be included in the same division. A 25% performance guide will be used to division teams, keeping in mind that the three team minimum division size will also be implemented. In golf, athletes will be divisioned in their gender category by a preliminary round score starting at the highest ability. If the competition does not offer a preliminary round, the qualifying score of the average of their most recent six games will be used for placing athletes into groups for competition play. In this case, athletes will be redivisioned based on their final tournament stroke score in order to determine placements. Divisions will be made up of a maximum of eight athletes. Athletes with the same qualifying score will be included in the same division. In golf, a 20% performance rate will be used to determine divisions. The divisioning process is an important part of competition, especially when there is opportunity for an advancement. In stage one, coaches submit athlete averages for five and 10 pin bowling and golf or for bocce, a skills assessment in advance of the qualifying or games competition. There may be a divisioning or preliminary round of competition, especially in bocce or golf at the provincial qualifier or games. During stage two, athletes are placed into divisions based on their qualifying scores. In stage three, the competition proceeds with athletes competing against other athletes in their assigned divisions. In the following slides, we will review a divisioning scenario as an example of applying the divisioning process in this set of sports. In this five pin bowling example, we have 12 female bowlers of various ages. The athletes have been ranked based on their qualifying scores, those being their seasonal averages, starting at the highest ability. Once we have completed the math as explained in the next slide, we will see that the athletes have been assigned to one of three divisions, F1, F2, and F3. These athletes will compete against each other for the duration of the event and receive place placements within their division. We will now illustrate how the 25% performance rate is calculated. It is important to note that in GMS, the 25% performance guide is not calculated starting with the fastest or slowest time, but rather by the median time. From the example on the previous slide, we will start at the highest average, 192, and work our way down. We notice a natural break after 148, so we will start with that set of numbers. In order to determine the median, we need to find the difference between the two numbers and split that number in half. 192 minus 148 is 44. Half of 44 is 22. By subtracting 22 from 192, we find the median average between 148 and 192, that being 170. Let's half the 25% performance rate to 12.5 and add and subtract 12.5% to and from 170. The resulting numbers 191 and 149 are the high and low scores in a division with a 25% performance rate. If we then look at the next division, we'll apply the same formulas to a top average score of 112 and try the score of 198 at the bottom as the bottom number. 
This results in a division with a high and low score of 118 and 192. In the next slide, we will revisit these divisions to see how this fits. After reviewing our chalkboard exercise, we see that the first division, F1, has a greater spread of averages than the 25% performance guide would allow. However, we also need to have a minimum division of three participants so the top three averages become F1. In division F2, we could include all averages from 112 through 93. However, this would leave F3 with fewer than three athletes, so we will include 93 in F3 division. If we if we were to do the math for F3, we would find that the numbers fall outside of the 25% performance guide, but we do need a minimum of three athletes in each division. Each of bocce, five, and 10 pin bowling and golf uses an established average score for placing athletes into divisions that are split by gender, but not by age. The process of divisioning by ability creates a fair, meaningful, and equitable competition where athletes are competing against athletes of similar ability. Let's review a handful of important definitions. Divisioning is the structure and the process for athletes to compete in groups, known as divisions, with other athletes of similar ability. Preliminary is pre-competition ahead of the main competition. For example, a preliminary round of golf will determine the score to be used for placing the athlete into a division. This may also be referred to as a divisioning round. Average, the resulting number after dividing the sum of a set of scores by the number of scores. In bowling, the season-long average is determined by dividing the sum of 25 game scores by 25. Skills assessment, a questionnaire and the results of a series of skill tests that the athletes on each team have been assessed on by their coach. These assessments are completed in advance of the qualifying or games competition and submitted to the competition host. Thank you for taking Module 3 of the Divisioning 101 course. We hope that you have gained a better understanding of how the sports of bocce, bowling, and golf are divisioned during competition. If you would like to take another module in the Divisioning 101 series, please return to the course's main page and select the module that you would like to take. Now it's time for you to take what you learned in our bocce, bowling, and golf divisioning module and apply it to the next tournament. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and a calculator to place these 12 male athletes into their final divisions for the golf tournament. The 12 athletes are listed with their qualifying scores. Please place them into divisions using the same method illustrated previously. When you have finished placing them into divisions, answer these questions. Number one, how many divisions did you end up with? Two, three, or four? The answer is three. Number two, Athletes with the same score ended up in different divisions. True or false? The answer is false. The rationale behind this is that athletes with the same qualifying average are to be placed in the same division. Number three. If division M1 has the best golf scores, how many athletes are included in division M1? Three, four, or five? The answer is four. Number four, in bocce and five and 10 pin bowling, the performance guide is 25%. For golf, it is also 25%. True or false? The answer is false. The rationale behind this is that golf uses a 20% performance guide. Here is the list of male golf athletes assigned to their divisions based on the 20% performance guide. 